Welcome to Rome Total War 2 in God Mode. This is the Athens Edition. And uh, this is Athens Edition 2. This is the Patreon behind the scenes look at the Battle of Britain, the fourth episode of that series, Battle of Isca, The Last Stand. And this is episode 5 in our Patreon series. So what we're going to be looking at is well first Natural off command. I'm sorry Cremonides you are not you are not the guy that I want here instead I want to command. make sure my heavy cavalry is right there March. okay so let me save this real quick as the pre set up for Iska now what I have done already is I've done the part where I went in and I looked at where do I want to come in? Do I want to come in through the land, through the sea? And this has it doesn't it's not really much to offer in ways of any kind of exciting sea battle. But it does have the sea element involved. And so what I'm gonna do is I don't get to pre set up my sea people, but that's okay. I don't need them to be pre-set up. Now, I am going to attack Ready with... Cremonides is leading the charge once again, so he's going to be the one that attacks. Laying siege to the settlement. And uh, as you could see, I have Cremonides here. And then we have uh, Boris. He's out there leading... Uh, I have two... Count them, two... Uh, units here. I have... Actually, I'd rather have him be my unit. No, never mind. I think they're about the same. Nope, they're, the, they're pretty much the same. Never mind. But then I have my horse cavalry. Co Kodros. Kodros is really... It's just the role you're you're serving, Kodros. I'm sorry, but your heavy cav is just basically mop ups. But they're... And, and, but actually, they're very good defensively for me for protecting my... The big old heavy onager. So we're going to go in. And we're going to look for a dry, a dry, clear day. Hopefully. We will we'll be willing to wait for that. Now, if I was doing this game strategically, there, I, there's things I'd do differently. I'll just say that. But when you have godlike powers, then you adjust to the godlike powers that you have. Then you want your strategies to be accordingly. So we have the deployment here starting. Get our heavy onagers up here. And I don't need these guys. I'm going to leave these guys here. And I like them bunched up in this situation. More bunched up. And I, I think I'll, I'll pull them back a little bit. Uh, ah. All right. I'm going to move them back a little bit. I want to have uh, Hoplites in the front here. Just kind of... Is there going to be a, a giant... W just a wall of resistance? There, that that defense. And then over here we have... Where's our archers? We're going to have one set of archers, which is just going to stay behind these guys yeah stretch you out as thin as I can all right and make sure you got your fire arrows on everybody has fire arrows for for visual reasons alone okay so we got those guys we got our our, our guys up here now we're gonna leave these guys here are the guys that we're going to have that are going to go immediately up and their job is immediately to get into this and be a spot that everybody's just going to come pounding them in. And that's that's what I want to do here. So these guys, they just stay here. They're going to pr pr protect up here if anybody comes up. And then we're going to have Generale. Let's put the Generale right there. And I want the generales 
what you're stretching out there is all right all right come on all right general you're you're gonna be intermixed in there all right whatever so because the general I want the general to rush up real quick as fast as they can and try to block this area off so that's the the plan there and then And then, after I have the general rushing up... Oh, where's my archers up here? I want to have the archers right behind. I'm going to have the archers going to basically be right behind the generals. Firing over anybody else trying to get in, get, get past this point. Alrighty. Then we got these archers here, and uh, I want to have these archers just uh, just gonna be back here. I just want them in guard mode for right now. Just there, you go, guard mode. So those archers, they're intended if anybody's gonna come up over here. And then we're going to have these guys over here. And these guys are going to be looking to guard. Right here. There you go. Put you in guard mode. So you guys are on guard mode. And then we got these horse archers here. And I'm going to have these horse archers. Horse, horse the going to have these horse archers just staying right here. And they're going to be looking to go wherever they need to go quickly. Uh, but for now, they're just there just to protect the heavy onager. So to start the battle, I want to be highlighted on the general. Where's the general? general because the general your job is to get up as quickly as you possibly can to here well we basically we don't want them coming out here we want them staying right trapped in there and uh yeah and then at the same time that we get the general up here well our first step is actually where's our first guy Okay, so these are our, our Germanic Scout Raiders. So we're going to get them started first. That's right. They're the Germanic Scout Raiders are going to start first. And then we're going to get the general going. And this is, you're going to see, like, this is, this is not the artistic show where I'm really trying to do fun things version. This is just, I'm just going to try to do this. I, pro I might even have this in fast speed once I start the battle just because I'm just trying to... Just trying to get this done so I can uh, do the the uh, the the the. Well, I guess I think it's going to be episode twelve. All right, here we go. All right, I got the horse archers going up. I got you guys coming up. I don't want you guys. I don't. I want you guys getting up. All right. All right, now we get to our our boats, and we're not there with the boats yet, and we're not there with our full guys yet, but I'm just going to try to get as many of these guys as I possibly can. All righty, come on, one more, one more, one more. Our general is under there attack. we go. All righty, let me get you guys. Ah! Oh, here, here we go. This is what we want. All right. Where, where are these guys at? Let's get these guys moving down to here. Where are they at? All right, there they go. And now let's go. Our horse, are, those are not really fully. Uh, they're not fully in yet. So let's, uh, let's see what our heavy onagers can hit. Uh, our heavy onagers can hit there. 
So, so there we go with the general going in. Where's the general? All right, the general is in. The, I think he's in the point where he needs to be. All right, I'm just trying to see if the general is where he needs to be as far as. Oh, he's there. He's there. Okay, so now that that is done, I mean, we basically are now going to slaughter these people. Actually, let's get you guys in your own little group. And we're going to head you guys. We're going to have you land over here. So do you guys, let's put you guys all in a group. I don't even think you need, oh, I can't put you in a group. I think you only have so many groups you can create. and I totally. Uh, so we're moving you guys up. We got you guys over here that are doing. Are you moving towards us? All right. All right, we got you guys. I think that we could uh, let's 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 move you guys in. Theus Lancers. All right, Theus Lancers. All right, so I'll have you guys attacking out there. Why don't you just just this little unit go on out there? Oh, wow. Well, and just, uh, Hoplites, Hoplites, you're in guard mode. You're fine. There you go. All right. So as you can see, we are just slaughtering these guys. All right. Where are you at? Make sure you get all lined up there. Yeah, we want you to clog that hole. And then once you clog the hole, then... See, these guys are moving in now. So, these guys are moving in. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I feel bad for you guys. I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now you're going to get attacked from the sea. Meanwhile, over here, you're just, you guys are just, let's see where you're at. Yeah, just, just pretty brutal. Heavy onagers. Get them flaming shots going. Let's get them flaming shots going. And there's these guys. Are they are we gonna chase these guys? Uh nah. We're not. Yeah. Well, you're already doing what you're supposed to be doing, so you're fine. I mean, this is just like this is beautiful. All right, General. It's time for you to move up. You're not the General. Where's my General? Where's my General? Where is my General? All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on, Cremonides. I think this is over. This is over. Yeah, you're just going to go for that last point.
we'll just send you guys in. I mean, this is pretty brutal. Where can I... You know what? Let's direct our charge to you. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to turn around and you are going to actually turn around and charge these guys. Alrighty. I don't even know where you're at, but guess what? You're you're coming in. Oh no, 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 you're over there. Alright, there you go. Just just get this point. I don't know why you guys gave this up. General. General, there's the general. There you go. Come on, General. I think this is just about over. Uh, basically, I think I think Cremonides did pretty good. I mean, he 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 executed his strategy brilliantly. And and listen, we're not even. Just just don't. No, just poor guys. Really, really. I mean, do we do we really want to do this? Are we doing this? Are we? Yeah, there you go. That is the end of the battle. We're not going to continue. We're not going to continue with this one. We're going to save this as uh, Battle of Iska. So that is the episode that we will. I I will probably. You know what I I will do with these. I will post these. Uh, the the. After the Battle of Isca episode. And that's how I'll post these. Okay, so we're done with that. So you guys, I'm gonna give you this little 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 you get to see this part. Uh, eventually only the Patreon people will see this. This is what the Patreon content will look like. But for right now, everybody gets to see what's about ready to take place. Well, actually. I don't think I, I, I keep thinking I might see a good visual, but no. Oh no, I do get the visual. Yes, there it is. Oh, in the back, in the back, right? Scapula back. Oh yeah. Let's see. Did I destroy the faction? The cool thing is when you. Oh, I did not destroy the faction. You know what that means? Ah, uh, yes, I did. The Domnoni is defeated no more. That means there is a really good chance <coughs> that what? <coughs> oh, pardon me. We may have, basically, our lands are secured. Our lands are secured. But although, also, we can create two new armies. So, I've got a lot of work to do to get my new stuff set up. I'm probably going to create the two new armies in the back row. So, I'll have six armies back in my home area. And I'm going to leave these armies up here because... Because... Well, my plan, my plan so far is, is let's see what Rome is. There is Rome. Rome is a, is a decent sized empire. I see you're going for there. That's fine. I'm happy with you going there. So I am basically, I'm going to make a run. I'm going to go, my first primary run is going to go all the way across here. I want to make sure that this is where I want to make thy line with Rome. I don't mind if they do take other stuff. I will cons I will cede it to them for the final preparations. But for right now, I'm not really interested in that. <coughs> I'm really interested in letting Rome grow as much as she can. And Carthage, I encourage you too. Egypt, let's see. Egypt, Egypt, I encourage you. And Seleucids, oh, Seleucids, you're, you're kind of spotty. I have been encouraging you, but you're struggling right now. Egypt is doing pretty decent. I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm. You know, Egypt, I was worried about Egypt for a while, but they're starting to build up. So, what I'm going to be working on is shoring up all the cities, making sure they're all up to the latest, greatest, and they're maximized militarily speaking. 
and uh, building my militaries, putting everything where I need them to be. I don't have any... Uh, I'm going to build two new armies in my home area, and I'm going to have a, a central defense unit, and I'm going to have uh, a reserve defense unit. So the reserve defense could be called anywhere, and the central defense will defend the central region of the area. So these are just defenders from my home region, because I'm not... I don't want to do anything other than just if a city gets whatever taken, then I can take it right back pretty quickly. But I think by and large I should be okay there. These, these, by the way, are you see that uh, if you if you look and see like Rome, and then you look and see like the highlights, you know, you know, you see these light green thingies. Those, those are, yeah. Oh, where? I know I have some client states, and I don't know how I can see which ones are. I thought I, I figured it out. But at any rate, I intend on consolidating all up here. And then after we're done, then we're going to do a a Western, uh, a Northwestern Europe little uh, mini campaign. We'll see. Well, I mean, it might be. We'll see what, what we come up against. But we are talking about one, two, three, I think three provinces, four provinces. We're talking about taking four provinces. So that's a, that's a bit of a chunk. If we could take those four provinces, though, that is the point where, all right, now we have to start talking about empire conquesting. And if that means, and, and it might actually mean also, we may have to go, I don't know if we're going to have that, that big massive Eastern campaign that we did the first time around, but we could, we could, we'll see how it goes. I could, well, we'll see how it goes. I don't know how it's going to go, but that's why I said, we'll see how it goes. See how that works. And then we go to the forces and we've got, I'm going to go through here, going to upgrade all my guys. Chromonides. Oh, let's do Chromonides right now. This is Chromonides. This is the great and powerful Chromonides. We definitely want your artillery to only increase. So that's a good choice there. We want first and foremost anything we want to get to the higher level here. So we're going to do that. And there you go. Chromonides is just becoming a boss. Total boss. You got to gotta love it. You got to love it. I'll go through and look and see if I have any. See, I got some up upgrades I can do. Like this guy I can upgrade you. And I'm definitely going to have some work to do on the cities. Britannia. Britannia. And Thra. Where, where is my. What's the name of the one that is. Carsagros Istros. Ialden, so it is there. It is Ialden and Eblana that belong together. But as you can see, I got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to save this one as the post, post Iska. There you go, post Iska. And that will be the end also of this particular Patreon episode. We're done, ladies and gentlemen. We are done. Join us. Uh, I don't know what our next episode is going to be for the Patreon episode. Mm, yeah. But on the other episode, on the other side, join us for... Whew, I don't even know there. I don't know what the next episode will be of anything yet until I am done consolidating my holdings in Britain off camera. You don't need to see that. 